So here we are with Microsoft To Do, and many people might be curious of whether this is their next to-do list application. Now today I'll be reviewing it on Mac, but it is available on all devices. You can find all the details about this application in the description below. You can also get it in linked below as well. Now I will be sharing the main features of this application, the pros and the cons of the experience, and also giving you a final thought of who this best for at the end. But let's start with the pricing. Now this section's going to be super fast because Microsoft To Do is available on the personal plan for Microsoft at no cost, which means you can get it on all of those devices without the need for paying for it, which is a great bonus from the experience. Now for those who know, Microsoft To Do used to be something called Wunderlist, so it has very much the same feel, but we'll talk about that in the con section as I have a few faults. Now this is the interface when it comes to adding tasks, and adding tasks are really easy. Now within each task, there are subtasks, and they're not called subtasks, they're called steps. So you could have steps like this that can be added to each of your tasks. You can promote them to a task, but you can complete them as well, as if they were little items. Now, this is an area called My Day. And My Day essentially is the today area for your task management application. So you can also add a due date as well, which means that whilst it will have a due date of tomorrow, you can add it to My Day area, meaning that this is sort of the day that you're going to be starting it. And this is a day that is expected to be completed. You can also set it to repeat and customize it if you wish. Now, one other element to this experience is you can use this little icon called suggestions. Now, suggestions are basically brought in from other projects you're working on that you can add to your today area or the my day view. Now, this is great for bringing items in, even if they don't have a particular day. Like, for example, this one's due in May. It's currently November. You can even remove this, but it's added to the my day area for you to focus on. So this is great for planning stuff or getting things in that are trapped inside of your projects, but it uses the, I guess, machine learning concept to bring it in and organize your tasks. So there's another thing that you can do and that's change themes. You can add a different theme to make it a little bit more customizable or go with something a little bit more blank. So in terms of this area, the final thing that you can do is sorting. You can also change it based on due date and that pops up here. Now you can change it based on uh, ascending or descending and remove that as you wish. Now there are actually some decent areas here like important, planned, planned is great for seeing stuff in advance and for the week ahead, as well as grouping by list, which is quite helpful. So you can narrow down your options even further. You can even see an error called all and assigned to me as well. Now, if you're somebody that uses Microsoft Outlook, you can go to flagged emails and any email that is flagged here will bring in an Outlook uh, email, which is very helpful with the uh, deep link. So you can go straight to it. Now, this is a tasks area for you to see all of your tasks, which is helpful. And down here, I have a project called Tasks with Bob. Now, I have invited somebody to this one. So you can go ahead and press invite and stop sharing at any time. And anyone with a Microsoft account can edit this uh, experience, which is very helpful. You can rename it at any given time and you can even change the theme, do the sorting, and that person will see it on the other end. But this is good because if I add a task, then it can naturally be assigned to somebody else. In this case, it's being assigned to me because I haven't shared it and I can do all the regular stuff that I'd expect inside this application. Now, there is an ability to add files and notes at the bottom here, which is helpful addition. Now, naturally, this is really all the experience can do apart from make a new list, which doesn't have to be shared, or you can go down here and make a new group. So in this case, a group is essentially a folder in which you can drag different projects in. And you can see that this is helpful for just organizing what's ahead. Now, you can change some of the preferencing up here. You can even change what lists appear. So for example, if you want a little bit slimmer uh, right left-hand panel, then that's something you can do. You can also connect up to Microsoft Planner if you did want to. There are a few other additional abilities here too. So this will sync with the mobile devices, works well on Windows as well, and is really simple as an experience. The pros of this application have to be very simply that the free experience makes it a really uh, good setup. It works with other Microsoft products, and I like this suggestions feature. It sometimes works very well, and other times not so well, but it is a nice addition to have as part of your experience to bring in tasks. 
Some of the cons of this experience have to be the limited abilities for power users. You're gonna get the basics from this application. It's not gonna be revolutionary, but it's gonna help you to plan ahead and to manage your tasks in a simple manner. Also, the design used to be good about five years ago. It's not so much now. Very plain and simple. The mobile application looks slightly better, but that's all really you're getting as part of this experience. So who is this best for? It's good for those who want free uh, to do this application and those who have a Microsoft account and want something simple. It's easy to use, works very well, and will probably help you to get started with your task management without any fusses and on wide range of devices too. If you're interested in checking out more to-do list applications, you can jump over to toolfinder.co to explore more and subscribe to this channel for more reviews like this. So thank you very much, and I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio.